What is good, my sea men and ladies? So a lot of you may know the new Garfield movie has just came out a few days ago. Now, in all fairness, I have not seen the movie myself, but something tells me I don't need to. Look, when I first saw the trailer and saw that Garfield was voiced by Chris Pratt, I kind of knew from then it would be corporate garbage, which is what a lot of the reviews say about the movie. I'll give it credit. The art style itself looked really good. I think my main thing is I'm starting to get tired of Chris Pratt being in every movie. I think he's starting to get that Seth Rogen effect, where if you guys remember, there was a certain amount of time when Seth Rogen was in everything. So people got really sick of Seth Rogen really quickly. Like I don't hate Seth Rogen, nor do I hate Chris Pratt as actors. I just don't like hearing the same voice actor and actor in every movie I see. But today's video is not about the new Garfield movie. I thought for today's video, I would rewind the clock and watch my favorite Garfield movie from back when I was a kid, which is called Garfield Gets Real. I haven't seen this movie since it came out, which was when I was seven years old. So I haven't seen this movie in 17 years. I just have very fond memories of this movie and I also think it has a lot to do with the fact that I love the Garfield show as well and I especially remember loving the intro theme song. I can't play it or this video will get demonetized but just look it up if you haven't heard it already. You'll love it. If you go on to enjoy this video make sure to like the video and subscribe if you haven't already. I'm shooting for 300,000 subscribers by the end of this year and without further ado let's go. Already, this movie screams creativity and fun, which is something we lack in today's world a lot. It could also be a lot of nostalgia hitting me right now, but I digress. Ho oh, oh, ho, hot, hot, hot! I'm sorry, am I seeing that correctly? Was that a toaster with three slots? I've never seen that before. Is that an actual thing? Toaster with three slots. No, that is not a real thing, by the way. Guys, I can spend $400 and get a toaster with six slots. Good Lord. Is it just me or does it seem kind of weird and egotistical to have a rug with your name on it in your house? Ha ha ha, boy. Well, breakfast is nearly ready. Why is he walking like that? He's like marching in his own house. I mean, do what you want, it's your house. Lighten up, Garfield. You're the star of a comic strip. You'd better cheer up fast, pal, because we leave for work in 20 minutes. So wait, in this movie, they are canonically superstars? They're famous because of a comic? Like I said, I haven't watched this movie in like 17 years, so I don't remember the plot at all. All I remember is at one point, Garfield goes into the real world. Good morning, Arlene. Why don't you sit up here with me? Hiya, Garfield. Get in the back, Nermal. What a cuck. Also, was his name Nermal? I think it was Nermal. What kind of name is that? You hate Mondays, M to the Undays. You hate him. You hate him. <laughs> Nermal is a natural born hater. Not only does he cuck our boy Garfield, he's just making fun of the fact that it's Monday and he hates Mondays. <laughs> They have an entire building dedicated to them? Oh my god. I don't remember anything from this movie, I guess. Good morning, Billy Bear. Hey, that's my name. Don't wear it out. Are these like other famous comic book characters that I'm unaware of? I'll bet you'd be a heart baker, baby cakes. <laughs> <laughs> Yikes, that was pretty cringe. Also, I don't care if Garfield is super famous. He's still a cat. So lady, why are you getting all dolled up because he called you beautiful? Why must you always be fiddling with things? I mean, why can't you just sit quietly like a good husband? I love his character design so much. It's so adorable. I want a plushie of it right now. I thought I had another cookie. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Oh my god. I just thought of something. Them two 69ing each other must be the greatest thing ever. She can shove her nose up his ass while sucking his dick. Good morning, everyone. 
Holy shit. Look at the bosoms on that lady. She's carrying around a real pair of hooters. I would love to be flattened by her. I'm just tired of doing the comic strip. Going through the same routine every day. Hearing the same tired jokes every day. Oh my god, a kid's movie actually talking about a very touchy and real subject? Where have these gone? We need more of these. Relationship Monday refs! <laughs> Whoa, how about that? Time to go to work. Wait, so in this world, how does working work? Do they just stand still and get drawn or what? Also, I didn't bring this up before, but the voice actor for this Garfield is the, is in my opinion, the definitive voice for Garfield, not fucking Chris Pratt. Cody and I enjoy each other's company. Take it. I was right, they're literally just posing for pictures. So what is Garfield so upset about? It's not like he has to actually act. If you think about it, his job is literally just being a model. Take it. Take it. Take it. That's a wrap on Garfield. That was it? Garfield's job is to take three different pictures and call it a day. Are you kidding me, Garfield? A lot of people would kill to do what you do. You're a celebrity, man. Wow. It must be nice. When an influencer complains about their life on social media. It's actually kind of weird because I kind of relate to this in a sense. As a YouTuber, I'm very grateful for my job, but I'd be lying if I said there wasn't times where things got a little boring, a little stale. But at the end of the day, there are jobs that are much more difficult than what I do or what Garfield does, which is just posing for pictures. That's a wrap, people. Put it to bed and print it, Betty. Wait, I just had a thought. So since we're technically in a comic book world, do these people not actually exist? Are they real people that transfer themselves into the comic book world, then they make the comics? So wait, in this world, do comic book artists not actually exist? Look, I never said this movie made sense. The funnies are here. Oh my fucking god. I was just gonna mention about how this works, how the how the comics just magically appear, but fuck that. That movie, the movie that was playing on that TV is called A Turtle's Tale, but I'm looking it up right here. A Turtle's Tale came out in 2010. This movie came out in 2007. How does that make any sense? Billy Bear says pizza! We're fishing for pizza? Okay, in the context of this movie, that's fine. That they can see through the paper at anyone they want. But if this was like a horror movie or a creepy movie, that would be much worse. Because theoretically, they could spy on whoever they wanted as long as the paper was open, right? Also, these kids look terrifying. Look over at the hot dogs and zoom in. You got it, Garfield. <laughs> Wait, 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 wait. I thought they were restricted to just how the paper was facing. They can move the camera and zoom in. That is a 911 watch list if I've ever seen one. Put these people behind bars. Kitty, kitty, kitty. Come on over. <laughs> What the fuck is going on? Out of nowhere, Garfield is going on an acid trip about glizzies. <laughs> Wait, it's that easy to get into the real world? I thought they would have had to have done some sort of ritual or something. You can just walk through a ripped part of the screen? Are you kidding me? No more slobbering dog to bug me. I'm free to do whatever I want. Oh wow, here's to my new life. I love how the textures on the ground are like not even completed at all. All right, this movie is not as good as I remember it looking, but we'll look past that. This screen separates the comic world from the real world. The comic world. They're very nonchalant about Garfield just being in the real world now. Garfield is your main star. Garfield is your head honcho. And now he's gone. <laughs> My mom. Is nobody in this very busy park noticing any of this shit happening? Like, what is this? Harry Potter? Where the humans don't notice anything? <sighs> that didn't work. There must be an easier way of sending you back, Odie. I just noticed Garfield's nose is more texturized now. Unless it was like that before, but I don't think it was. Actually, now that I notice, most of his body is more real texture-wise. <laughs> What is with the women in this movie and their massive honkers? The real world is certainly more exciting than the comic world. Uh, sure, whatever. 
Hey, the show begins soon. I don't know how to put it, but this movie is kind of dragging. Like it was doing really good in the beginning. And I thought once Garfield would go into the real world, the movie would start moving along faster, but nothing is really happening. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I love you guys. I read you all the time. You're kind of cute, darling. What's actually crazy is I don't remember these characters like at all. I don't remember any of this. Maybe my memory of the Garfield show is getting mixed with this movie and my love for the show is getting misremembered with this movie. Maybe. Shrekky! Thank you. Thank you. Hey, it's great to be back at Club Shecky. Sorry, I'm having a hard time staying awake. This movie all of a sudden just hit a brick wall in terms of the pacing. Like, holy shit, this is getting really, really slow. Nothing is actually happening in terms of the story. Oh, you gotta bob and weave out there, Garfield. A moving target is harder to hit. Why does this cat's chest look very similar to a um, woman's vagina? I need you guys to understand how boring this part of the movie is. I'm noticing things like that rather than actually paying attention to the movie. That's really bad. <laughs> I am struggling to get through this portion of the movie. When I tell you there is absolutely nothing going on right now, since Garfield has gotten to the real world, nothing has gone on at all. Like I'm trying to make commentary revolving the movie, but it's hard when nothing has gone on in the movie to talk about, besides of how slow the story is going. Sleep well. Just a thought, but couldn't she like throw that rose to Garfield theoretically? Like maybe she could send him a note? Wait, what if she just threw a rope and then pulled him back in? Did I just solve the entire movie's problem? Every time I think I've hit bottom, someone hands me a shovel. You did this to yourself. Why would I, the viewer, feel bad for you? <laughs> And now the dogs are back. The movie is doing the exact same thing again. This isn't funny. It wasn't funny the first time and it's not funny now. All you guys have to do is figure out a way to get us back home. See you there. What do you mean figure out a way? We were told that there is absolutely no way to get back into the comic book world. So is there a way or not? I understand that this is a kid's movie, but this is like a main part of the story. Them not being able to go back is the main conflict. Why don't you go away? Next! <laughs> There is 30 minutes left in this movie, and I am counting down every second. I just happen to have a contract right here. <laughs> no, don't do it. He's the one there trying out for the position, and then he gave them a contract. That is alpha as shit. <laughs> So they can just send things through. You watch, they're gonna end the movie doing something like that. They're gonna send something through and pull them back in. Arlene, Eli, everybody, this isn't the real world. Reality is where your heart is. Another issue that I'm having with this movie that I just realized is the character's expressions are very blah. Like right there when Garfield was giving that really serious speech, at no point did he actually crack a frown, express a different emotion. Why am I bringing this up? There is 20 minutes left of this movie. Us. <laughs> <laughs> Look, we are both laughing together. <laughs> Bad you can't help your I'll be honest, I completely forgot that these characters were the movie's antagonists. Wait, hold on. These characters got introduced 50 minutes into the movie. Mind you, the movie is an hour and 10 minutes long. Whose bright idea was it to add villains with 20 minutes left of the movie? Not every movie needs a main antagonist. <laughs> Why is the toilet right next to the door? Like it's literally next to the door. You would walk into it. I feel like that's bad design. Why did you name it the Bonita Nator, Walter? Because the blade on the front. <laughs> I like how Garfield and Odie are literally minutes away from death. Not at one point during this entire time do I feel like they're actually in danger. There's no suspenseful music, no rushing. This entire movie has felt slow. Even during the climax, which is right now, it feels slow. <laughs> <laughs> 
I feel like with them being animals with very small lungs compared to a human's, I feel like they should be dead by the inhaling of all the smoke. Am I just overthinking a kid's movie? Yes. Oh. Hurry guys, hurry. Like look at her face when she says hurry guys, hurry. She doesn't even seem worried at all. There is no expression in any of these characters' faces. Like, oh my goodness. I have five minutes left. Let me just get through this. Hello. My bone. My bone. My bone. Did Odie just speak? Has Odie ever said anything ever? And they're in the real world? This movie is losing me, man. <laughs> I love how Odie would commit Sudoku just to make sure he has that bone. Odie! Get the chandelier swinging, Odie. Like this whole building is completely on fire and there is not one ounce of suspenseful music. Nothing at all. This is supposed to be the climax. It seems like the fire is just a mild inconvenience to these characters. <laughs> you were supposed to let go of the chandelier. Okay, that was funny. That was good. That subverted my expectations quite a lot. Y'all know what would be really funny and really subvert my expectations? If Garfield and Odie ended up burning to death. Garfield is not carrying a brown bear, a short fat man, and another man, along with a completely steel iron cart. Just end the movie, please. Please end it. I'm done. <laughs> I have now felt like I have just wasted two hours of my life that I will never get back. Have a good rest of your day.